It's Friday, May 24th, in the year 2019. Good morning, YouTube. My beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit filled on fire with the Holy Ghost of God, a Bible believing, God fearing, Philadelphia bride, blessed hope, Harpazo, rapture ready, precious brothers and sisters. Get around, pull up a chair. Let me know what you're going to share with PD as we begin this glorious Friday together. Memorial weekend. I've got my coffee with cream and I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I said I can do all things. Nothing is impossible with God. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. It's all about him. It's all about the sacrifice that he paid on the cross for you and for me. Do you know Jesus today as your Lord and Savior? Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. I've got my coffee with cream and no sugar. How do you take your coffee? You put cream in your coffee? You drink your coffee black? You put sugar in your coffee? Two creams, two sugars, are you going to have some lemonade? Are you going to have some herbal tea this morning? Let me know in the comment section below. Do that Do that now. Do that now. I just jumped out of the shower. So my hair is still wet. I don't know if you can tell. Beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun is shining. The birds are singing outside my window. A beautiful, beautiful song to the Lord. But they're calling for more rain this afternoon rain rain our prayers for everyone in missouri and all that are facing these terrible terrible storms and thunderstorms and and tornadoes doing so much uh destruction and so much damage we're living brothers and sisters in the very end times i was out in flint michigan yesterday with our ministry and outreach to the homeless and talking about memorial day memorial weekend coming up I sat for a while at the bus stop with a Marine Corps veteran who was on oxygen and he uses a walker and he holds his cardboard sign and he's homeless and uh, I just want everyone to remember what this weekend and what Memorial Day is all about. Remember Jesus, the sacrifice that he willingly took he gave his life on the cross for all of us for you and for me and for our family and for our friends so we would all have a chance but there was a crowd that gathered around and they mocked jesus they had fun and they mocked him and it seemed like they were just having a party it's okay this weekend to celebrate and to go camping and to have cookouts and barbecues and grill some hot dogs and burgers on the grill. But let's not lose sight of what this Memorial Weekend is all about. It's about those that gave the ultimate sacrifice so that we could go camping with our family and go fishing so that we could gather with family and friends and have a weekend away to do a cookout and to put some burgers and hot dogs on the grill. They went not knowing if they would come home. Our soldiers, they paid the ultimate price for our freedom. And we need to remember them because they didn't come home to their family. Many today that did come home are homeless so let's keep that in mind this weekend we see this with uh, all of the uh, what they call holidays the i like to call it the, the hallmark hallmark holidays just a reason to go out and spend money spend money on needless things and to uh, consume alcohol and please don't please don't drink and drive you consume alcohol and just to have a party but remember what this Memorial Weekend is all about. The ones that 
won't be celebrating with their family this year. They won't be fishing with their sons and daughters. They won't be putting burgers on the grill. They won't be setting up a tent this weekend because they paid the ultimate price. So many, so many that gave their life for the very freedoms that we have. And we see the evil in the world today. We see the evil in the the new world order, the Illuminati, the one world government, one world religion, the mark of the beast is all here. And we see this, how the evil has overtaken the light. We've got to shine light in the darkness in these end days. Pray for our ministry as I head out today. I'll be in Flint and Pontiac today. We have only had one offering to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. And I want to thank Brother Rob Estrada, Rapid Firearms Training, a precious gift of $7 to help the homeless in the inner cities. Thank you, Brother Rob. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It, uh, every penny, every dollar, every dollar, every penny adds up and it makes a difference. It touches lives, it changes lives, it saves lives. Join us tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going live with our live online church, live chat room, and live fellowship. Be sure to join us right around 7.30 or 8 o'clock. I want to run this by everyone. What would you think about Nine o'clock p.m. Is that too late for the majority of you? I'm seeing a lot of live streams going at nine o'clock p.m. in the evening. But tonight, right around 7.30, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock, make sure you're subscribed to uh, my channel. Click on the little bell in the upper right-hand corner and join us for our live online On Fire Church, our live fellowship tonight. We're going to talk about the New World Order and the Illuminati this evening. If you find it in your heart to support this ministry, again, we've only had one offering. No other offerings have come in. I'll put all the links will be below where it says show more. Right above where you leave your comments, when you see the word show more, just click on that and it'll take you to all the links to how you can help me help the homeless.